I'd like to introduce you to the Leader of the Opposition, Mr John Robertson. Thanks very much. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you today and I firstly want to congratulate you all for keeping up this fight. Because what you've got here is a minister who thinks that if she just ignores you, you'll go away. And every time you come back, continues to reinforce the fact that you're not going to be fogged off, that you're not going to be ignored, that you will continue this fight. And I'm proud to say that we will stand and fight with you on this fight. There is no justification at all for the pleasure of this country. What we've got is a decision made by the O'Farrell government that ignores all the science, as Kevin has already said. A government that continues to ignore science, not just here, but right across New South Wales. A government that continues to look at opportunities to get rid of workers and all the sorts of things that you're suffering is a good indication of what a lot of people are now experiencing with the O'Farrell government. What we have in New South Wales is a government led by Barry O'Farrell that isn't interested in science, isn't interested Sorry. in reason, isn't interested in logic, is simply interested in making ideological decisions. You're suffering because this government is making a sop to the National Party, trying to make out, trying to make out that they are somehow decentralising jobs. Well, you know, and I know, that there are jobs that are being relocated from Cronulla to Mossman. That is not decentralisation. That's that a joke! That is ideology. We need you to keep up this fight. We will continue to press the government for answers. We have a Minister for Primary Industries in this state who's too scared to meet the workers who are affected. A Minister who sneaks out to the Cronulla site on the weekend when there's no one there, has management handpicked two people to come in and see her, but refuses, point blank, to meet with the people who represent all of you. We cannot allow the O'Farrell government to make these sorts of decisions and not be held to account. You need to keep up the fight. We will stand with you. We will keep putting pressure on this government until you get the answers you deserve, until they come clean about the real reasons why Cronulla is being relocated, the reasons we all suspect, but we want to hear it from Barry O'Farrell, we want to hear it from Katrina Hodgkinson. Keep up the struggle, we will stand with you, stay strong and don't give up.